It's time for another Morning Hog Brew Review as Riggs, Steve, and Josh from SR Parat bring you Flavors Loganita's Disorderly Tea House Variety Pack. And we're also going to get into some sparkling ice spiked cocktails. Look out! It's Friday. It's Morning Hog Happy Hour on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog, the Morning Hog. Riggs, Steve, and Josh from SR Prot. Time for a Morning Hog Brew Review. It's happy hour on Friday. And Josh is going to make you happy by giving you <laughs> some new flavors to enjoy for your weekend. Wow. It's aggressive. I mean, like, Thanks. seriously. like <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. He did. Uh, to be fair, earlier this morning, we did chase each other around the building, and he drank a lot of caffeine. So he's, <laughs> he's already amped up on Just that. Up, I hope yeah. you didn't bring any caffeine. Well, uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay. That's fine. All right. What do you got? What did you bring? I got two brand new things for us. Oh, really? Ooh. First timers for you, too? Yes, sir. Oh, I like this. Yeah. I'm okay. pretty excited, actually. All right. Um, so, you know, uh, SR Prout, we sell sparkling ice water. Yes. Yes. You can find them pretty much just about everywhere. Tons of different flavors. Yes. Well, they're stepping into the uh, the hard seltzer game. Oh. oh. Hello. So these ones oh. are okay. sparkling ice spiked cocktails. Oh. Okay. Sparkling ice spiked cocktails. Six percent. Oh. Okay. So they're not messing around. They're Kinda like, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. Right. Uh, so the first one is mango mojito. Oh. Yes, please. You know, my uh, kid has become like a fruit connoisseur, and she's like, can we buy a fruit every week and buy different fruits and try them? But then she's been on a mango kick, because I just want mango. Mango, mango, fun. mango. And so I'm in the mango mode. Mango so, mode, huh? It's pretty interesting, because this comes in <clears throat> oh a 12-pack variety, Yeah, but you're only getting two flavors. Oh, okay. Which is fine sometimes, you All know? Right, that's fine. I don't mind that. Wow. That is a stout mango uh, snout. Woo! Mm-hmm. Smack me in the face. So zero sugar. Oh, 120 wow. calories. Zero sugar. Yeah. Okay. All right now. Oh, a nice carbonation level on that. Very. Yeah. Not like that super hmm. effervescent. Is Ooh. that the word I'm looking for? Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, effervescence. It is. Yes, yes. Yes. Where the bubbles go up through your to your yes. sinuses and into your brain. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> My first thought was, man, I'm tasting a lot of mint. But it's yeah. a mojito. It's a mojito. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it does definitely have a mint backbone. So it is. It is. It's a, mo- a mango mojito. Yeah, they nailed the flavor. But it's. But it, but the nose is all mango. It is hundred percent. And then, and then your tongue is like, hey, don't forget about bad the mint at all. Yeah. So if you like mojitos and wow. a little bit of mango in there, yeah. I mean, sparkling ice water is known for their flavors. Wow. They have tons and mm. tons of different flavors. They're all zero sugar. So they're literally <clears> just <throat> taking that and going, let's let's make it alcoholic. I am I am so all about the science that says, hey, your taste buds, check this out. You're gonna think there's a lot happening in here, but you there's Dude. no sugar. Yeah. Dude. There's no sugar. The mint on the back is yeah. nice. Sends this over the top. I, but, I didn't get it at first. Yeah. It took me a couple sips. Well, I forgot we were doing a mojito, so I'm like, man, that mango That's has really quite good. A, a minty kick. <laughs> you thought you still had really that gum good. I gave you before the <laughs> yeah. show. Yeah, I get it. I understand. It's no, that's okay. really enjoyable. Uh, yeah. Over some ice, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sparkling yummy. ice for the taste bud uh, of mm. electricity. What uh, What else we got to get into? <clears throat> How about strawberry margarita? Yes, please. All right. Okay, thank you. Now, I know what a margarita tastes like. I've had one of those before. <laughs> I've had frozen. I've had the other kind. Ooh, so strawberry be- margarita... Yeah. Mango um, mojito. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Again, 6% alcohol. Okay. 120 right. calories. 6%. Ooh, look, at that. look at that color. So these are fairly new to the market. Ooh. So yeah. uh, I would go ahead and check out the website. You Just talk about uh, srprot.com slash beer finder. That one. That's where you go to find that. I mean, Ooh. I mean the strawberry. Now, this doesn't have the nose that the mango did, but. Yeah, but I like that too, man. I really like that too, for sure. Oh yes! And oh, luckily, we, we've talked about strawberry flavoring before. Sometimes it can taste like chapstick. This tastes like a no. real strawberry. Yeah, here's, I, what I, I here, here's what I, mean, I just want to do a uh, for, for those Amazing. of you who are only hearing this. Here is what this flavor did to me. Okay, Psst, it's a margarita. Yeah, <laughs> like that. It came on strong. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It showed up, and really? I, didn't, I didn't. Yeah, it was a lot of aggressiveness to that. It was. That's yeah. what you well, said. Margaritas. I, huh. I mean, I love Cinco de Mayo. I love margaritas. I love the whole thing. Uh, is it, it July? Speaking of which, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, with oh. it being as hot as it is outside, mm-hmm. this is a great like beach beer, yes, it pool is. beer. Yep. 
Uh, chair bear. <laughs> chair bear. It, it, it is. Chair bear. It's all of those. It is all of those. I don't know why I said yeah. <laughs> Well, because he loves stuffed animals. We yeah. talked about it before. He's a big enthusiast of stuffed animals. Um, but this, this particular flavor... It seems like if you are a margarita fan, you're going to love it. But oh, if absolutely. you don't like margaritas, don't freak out. No, because it's, it's not like, like overly tart or anything like that. Yeah. But it's it's clearly a margarita. Mm. It's delicious. See, it where's, is that, where's that salt, Freaking delicious. Is that salt? Oh, here? we have salt Sorry. somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. You want to yeah. salt these rims and then yeah, and go do, to the mix stuff? Right? All right. On the break, we're getting weird with this. Look out. All right. All right. All right what's next? What else are we get into? So that's the question. Do you, we want to take a break? All right. We'll reset our panel. We'll take a break. All right. Do it. All, All right. right, Steve, you hold this salt. It's a Morning Hog Brew no review. No salt. No salt on the Josh, rim. Josh, S.R. Perot, the Morning Hog Happy Hour right here on 95.7 The Hog. Yeah! <laughs> 95.7 The Hog, Morning Hog Happy Hour. Hello, Friday. I'm Riggs. That's Steve. More uh, importantly, hello. Josh from S.R. Perot, who brought <laughs> beverages. Steve brought nothing but his personality and smile, and he's thirsty. And Josh, you brought stuff to pour in his face in this uh, this second half. Yeah, what are we getting to? something brand new. Really? Yeah. Oh, fresh out the truck. What are we getting into? So Lagunitas, oh, which we know love for them. all their great beers. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're throwing a curve curveball. Okay. I have their disorderly tea house variety tea. Uh, oh yes, please. So this is a hard tea. Okay. Huh. Hard tea. Yeah. Now, I drink a, a tea hybrid in the morning, which basically fuels the show. Except on Friday, where I don't drink tea, we get another stuff. But this is going to be the, the, the perfect blend for me, I feel. So, variety pack. Um, they do spell it variety. Okay. You know. All right. Kind of play on words. Sure. Um, oh, okay. To my knowledge, this is this first foray into something different. Ooh. They've done non-al- non-alcoholic and... Like hoppy water, right? Uh, but to step into this realm is, oh. is new for them. Ooh, um, that is a prominent tea nose, that's for sure. Okay, so this is a. It's not going to be a sp- sweet like twisted tea. Okay, it's going to be more of a tea product. You do get a lot more of the leaf. Yes, oh. and a lot of oh. much of the sugar. Right. Hello. So the one we're tasting right now mm. is mixed up berries. Mm. So mm. it's natural raspberry, blackberry fr- flavors, okay. and then the. Uh, I like that. A specific tea. The second uh, second sip brings the berries to the surface. Yeah. First you one, you're like, what's up? your tongue's like, Wait, what's going on? I like it, but what's happening here? Explain it to me. No, I feel like I got it. I, I do like mm. how it isn't as sweet. I, I do too. You and know, there's, the not a, there's not as much sugar or lemon. You get more of the tea and the fruit, uh, the other fruits. Right. It is much more of a tea product, which I actually right. really enjoy. Yep. Um, Ditto. I think we've talked. I'm, I've never mm. been a huge tea guy, even living in Florida my entire mm-hmm. life. Um, hmm. just never been my thing, but the more I have product like this, the more I actually enjoy it. I mean, Very interesting. I, I shunned tea for a long time and then I took it on. I'm like, what was I missing? I feel like I need to catch up on tea and, and you're hmm. helping out. So thank you. Thank you. So, thank you, Longanitas. Yeah, exactly. Um, speaking of thinking Longanitas, these are a hundred calories Whoa! and zero sugar. Yikes. Okay. So great alternative to, if you're not a huge seltzer fan, um, yeah. the carbonation on this is nice and light or it, it is slightly carbonated. Yes. No. Z- you said zero sugar again. Yep. I don't even know what to think about that because it does. <laughs> Blows uh, well, your mind well, a little well, bit, right? It's not overly sweet. You feel like there's some sort of sweetness in there, right? Yeah. I mean, there's some sort of sweetener, but mm. it's mm. not over. You know, it's not super sweet, okay. not overpowering, and you can really taste the the tea, okay. which I, I think yes, you should can. be the whole point, right? Yep. It most certainly is. Look at that. So much that I drank it all. Whoa, Do so you want to give a shot to what type of tea this is? I tried it earlier and I messed up. I think you, I think I wrote it down for you. Over oh, there. Is, it uh, your, is it on your here. sheet over there? Mm, let me go over my, pa- Earl, my homework. Is it Earl Grey? Let's no. see. Uh, mm. Sleepy time. Uh, that would be uh, uh, wait. Gayusa. That sounds about Gaius, right. Gaius, 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 Oh, that is right. Gayusa. Okay. Okay. Right, There's a T I'm not familiar with. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What's next? Gayusa. So this one is going to be. Oh, a small the, fruit. Uh, a small fruit. Peach slice. Mm-hmm. Sign me up. Oh, hey, peach state. Okay. So with this being as new as, as it is, um, you're definitely going to want to check out the website to find it. Oh, oh. Uh, if I could just pop, jump in. Uh, Josh is uh, talking, of course, about the website that you type into your browser if you have the internet. Uh, srbroad.com slash beer finder. Slash beer finder. Yeah. <clears throat> type that in. 
And then you can look for the Longanitas. And then look for the tea. And then go get it. Go or in your it. mouth like us. Okay, this is very good. And I, and the the snout definitely says peach, and then the tongue does too. Yep. A match. It's kind of like a blend of three items. Mm. Okay, let's hear it. Unsweetened tea. Okay. Yep. Peaches. Oh, okay. okay, peaches. And alcohol. Oh, okay. That's wow. weird because that's exactly what it simple. is. Oh, really it, simple. It is. It's it's simple, but it's yeah. beautiful. Did you just yeah. read the can? Of course good. not. Right. Well, <laughs> cutting into Josh's uh, business over there. No, not at all. But the, but again, uh, all of that stuff, but then mm. zero sugar. Exactly. Which is huge. And, and 100 calories? Yeah. And, I mean, you can't say that for a lot of the competitors out there. A lot of them are, are high sugar. Yeah. Um, a, a bit, they are sweeter, so yeah. maybe if that's your thing. But like I said, these are very enjoyable. There's a reason that the, the buttons aren't bursting off of the shirt. It's because it's 100 calories. That's right. <laughs> you knock this thing out right now, no problem, you know? Right? I mean, it's, it's good. I love it. Okay. I mean, it's, it is it is a bold move. Belogonitas doesn't, like, go by the norm anyway. They never have, right? Well, I mean, they didn't have to do this, right? Dude. Right. Yeah. I've heard rumors that they essentially, they, used, they were brewing this tea for their brewers and stuff mm-hmm. to drink while they were at the brewery. And they're like, okay. you know what? Let's, let's make this alcoholic. Let's wow. sell it. Yeah. Smart. Now, I drank a Lagunitas the other day when I was at the movie theater. <laughs> okay. How cool is that? Do you remember the movie? <laughs> yeah, Top Gun. Oh. Top Gun. <laughs> All right. And guess what? That's it, America right there, and guess isn't what? it? Lagunitas and, and Top Gun. Well, let me make it even better for you. He took his dad to that movie. All right. And he sobbed during multiple scenes. Dad or him? Who, my dad? No, you. Maybe. That's all right. <laughs> I mean, look at his eyes right now. And starting tearing up already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, he's tearing up because it's our last flavor. <laughs> That's why. All right, what is it? So this one is yuzu lemon squeeze. Oh. oh. oh okay. So I think we talked right. about yuzu before. It's a, a Japanese citrus fruit. Okay. Very close to a lemon. Really? Um, yeah. All right. Mm. Lemons. Japanese lemons. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. The lemon is a is a common companion of tea, right? Absolutely. As I understand, it, I haven't had enough tea in my life to know. But but the Japanese oh. lemon, oh, that's a twist. That's my favorite one. Literally. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. That's a classic tea flavor, right? And just enough lemon in there, not to be tart, but to let you know it's there. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's all these balanced. flavors stayed on balanced. the sunny. You don't have to struggle with these flavors. They're just right there, just pour them in. Kind of like it's hanging out behind you. It's just whispering in your ear. Lemon. God, that would scare the crap out of me. <laughs> Can you imagine how horrifying that would be? It would be terrible. Yeah, I mean, I'd hate it. Although, if you have enough of these, <laughs> maybe you'll hear that. I don't know. Or you can <laughs> maybe I'll just start whispering behind people yeah, instead. Or, or by the way, if, if you want Straight Steve to come, if you go buy these, by the way, this weekend, you want Steve to come out and whisper that over your shoulder. Just uh, text us right now. Yeah, That's right. Steve, please talk to me in a weird, creepy whisper tone. Oh. Dot fart. Put that in there, and Steve will show up. <laughs> Come over and do it. So this there are three really different good. flavors in this. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Steve, do you want to try to variety. do that? Okay. You want to try to? You've been sort pretty good out? lately. Can you? Four. Look at that. Mm. He, he didn't even have to take wow. his shoes off. Didn't even wow. have to take my nice. shoes off. That's really or good. Pull bro. out the nice fingers. Nice work. Yeah. Solid. Well, he's missing three toes. Is the problem? Yeah, you don't want to see that. It's a yeah. lawnmower accident. It's okay. Happens sometimes. He told me fireworks. Uh oh, that's right. The <laughs> bottle rockets. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So uh, these flavors are. This is brand new. Can yep. we can we chase these down? Another uh, definitely another retailers? total wine, um, local independence. But your best bet always is going to be the website. That way you're not traveling, uh, and then being disappointed by the time you get there. S R Parat slash Beer Finder. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. You forgot the dot com. That's fine. Sorry uh, about that. Close enough. All right. Well, until Steve gets it right. Cheers. <laughs>